배터리 데이 통역 방송 중 키포인트만 정리하여 요약하였습니다. So we actually label entire video segments um, and the system, so, so you get the, basically a surround video uh, thing to label. Um, I think we'll, we'll hopefully release uh, a private beta of, of Autopilot, of the full self-driving version of Autopilot in, I think, a month or so. Uh, and then people will, will really uh, understand just the magnitude of the change. It's, it's profound. We found a sweet spot somewhere around 46 meters, uh, two millimeters. But it's not just about a bigger form factor. Like anybody could make a bigger form factor. Any fool, any fool could make a bigger form factor. Uh, there, <laughs> are we not any fool? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there are problems uh, as you make cells larger. In fact, supercharging and thermals in general become really challenging as you make bigger cells. And this was the challenge that our team uh, set our sights on to overcome. And we did. We came up with this tabless architecture that maybe you've heard about um, that, that basically removes the thermal problem from the equation and allows us to. So just the cell form factor change enables a 14% dollar per kilowatt hour reduction. What, what you saw before becomes this. Yeah. So you can see the motivation. A 10 times reduction in footprint a 10 times reduction in energy and a massive... Yeah, I mean, to be clear, I would like to not say that we, right now it's just totally working. It's, it's, it's close to working, <laughs> but it's not, even now, it, at the pilot plant level, it is close to working. Well, I see, okay, I could, it's fair to say it probably it does work, but with not a good, not a high yield. Highway. Not the highway. Yeah. And together with our internal design team, that makes this equipment and designs this equipment, we coupled thinking about how to make the best cell with thinking about how to make the best equipment so that we could accomplish the fastest parts per minute rates on all of these tools. Um, and through all of that development, we were able to get to the point where we can uh, implement assembly lines, one line, 20 gigawatt hours, seven times increase in output per line. Yeah, so uh, uh, this, this is just for, uh, to, this is just talking about uh, Tesla internal cell production. Um, as I tweeted out earlier, we will continue to uh, use our cell suppliers, uh, Panasonic and uh, LG and CATL. Um, and so this is 100 gigawatt hours supplemental to uh, what we buy from suppliers. And not only is all of that manufacturing innovation fantastic for enabling scale, it's also an additional 18% reduction in dollar per kilowatt hour at the battery pack level. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Um, and in the end, by leveraging this silicon to its potential, we can increase the range of our vehicles by an additional 20%, just this uh, improvement. Yeah, it gets cheaper and longer range. And, and when we take that anode cost reduction, we're looking at another 5% dollar per kilo, kilowatt hour reduction at the battery pack level. Let's talk about cathodes. What is a battery cathode? Cathodes are like bookshelves where the metal, you know, the nickel, the cobalt, the manganese, or aluminum is like the shelf, and the lithium is the book. And really, what sets apart these different metals is how many books of lithium they can fit on the shelves. And um, you, you, need, you need a stable structure uh, to contain the ions. Um, as you're moving these ions, ions back and forth, uh, you, you, it needs to retain its structure. Uh, so uh, if it doesn't retain its structure, then you lose cycle life and your battery capacity drops very quickly. And you can see nickel is the cheapest and the highest energy density, and that's why Increasing nickel is a goal of ours and really everybody's in the energy and in, in the uh, battery industry. Um, but one of the reasons why cobalt is even used at all is because it is a very stable bookshelf. And the challenge with going to pure nickel is stabilizing that bookshelf with only nickel. And that's what we've been working on with our high nickel co cathode development, which has zero cobalt in it. Uh, we can get a 15% reduction in cathode dollar per kilowatt hour. Here with our process, as you can see, a whole, less, a whole lot less is going on here. We get rid of the intermediate, metal water, final pro product cathode, recirculate the water, no wastewater at all. And when you summarize all of that, 
is to 66% reduction in CapEx investment, a 76 reduction in process cost, and zero wastewater. All of the benefits that you just saw are added to this benefit of a 12% reduction in dollars per kilowatt hour at the battery pack level. All electric cars in the future will ultimately be made. Uh, it's the right way to, right way to do things. Um, so it's, it starts with uh, having a single piece casting or a single piece casting for the front body and the rear body. Um, and uh, in order to do this, we uh, commissioned the, the largest casting machine that has ever been made. And it's currently working just uh, over the road at our uh, Fremont plant. And in order to do this, we actually uh, had to develop our own alloy uh, because we wanted a high strength casting alloy that not, did not require coatings or heat treatment. Uh, this is a big deal for, for castings, especially with a, la a large casting. If you heat treat it afterwards, it, it tends to deform. It kind of like so. Um, it also allows us to pack the cells more densely because we do not have uh, intermediate structure in the battery pack. So instead of having these like uh, supports and stabilizers and stringers and structural elements in the battery, we now have a lot more space in the battery because the pack itself is structural. Um, like I said, so 10% mass reduction in, in the body of the car, 14% range increase, uh, 370 fewer parts. I really think that, that long term... It, it is worth another 7% dollar per kilowatt hour reduction at the battery pack level, bringing our total reductions now to 56% dollars per kilowatt hour. Yeah. Yeah, so what, what this was, uh, enables... Uh, us to do is achieve a new trajectory in the reduction of, of uh, cell cost. And um, now, it, to be clear, it will take us probably a year to 18 months to start realizing these, uh, these advantages. And probably to fully realize the advantages, probably it's about three years or thereabouts. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's not like uh, if we could do this instantly, we would. <laughs> um, but it, it's, it's really. Um,이번배터리데이에서정말놀라운내용이많이나왔고배터리비용절감수치가올라갈때마다저도깜짝깜짝놀랐습니다하지만이런비용절감수치는무려3년뒤에성취할수있는내용을지금대담하게발표한것이었습